when I was five or six. I broke my nose. And once I hit my 30s, I got engaged, had surgery. How long ago was this, roughly? This was five years ago. And I guess when the doctor came out of surgery, he's like, oh, the surgery went great. He's like, I pulverized her nose. Pulverized? Pulverized <laughs> means to destroy. Bottom of the list of things you want to hear postoperatively. He usually doesn't hear me say this. I'm worried about how your nose is going to turn out. That the nasal skin is really, really, really thin. Mm -hmm. He's going to add a lot of tissue, which, you know, is packing the suitcase, right? Mm -hmm. Puts more pressure on the skin. Yeah. You, know, you zip up the suitcase, except he's going to put stitches in. Right? Mm -hmm. You're at super high risk for a blood supply problem. Necrosis, skin death. Before my surgery, the tip of my nose had a ski slope for a profile. It was crooked and there was a chunk missing on the right side. But now, thanks to Dr. Nassif, my tip is rounded smooth, and my nose is straight and symmetrical. My name's Samantha, and having four breasts is the pit. There's no actual nipple on the breast in my armpits, but there's like a sack of skin filled with something the size of half of a softball. Right now, my armpits look like I need a bra for them. <laughs> Probably freaking a B cup. So lift your arm up for a sec. Wow, so they're very irritated. So Feel that, Paul. Do you see this one? Very soft. Yeah, that feels just like a breast tissue. Your right ectopic breast tissue. Uh -huh. And uh, that's why I was feeling it. Right. goes way into tiger country. I'd rather not get into tiger country anytime soon. It's been so long since I've seen Samantha in a sleeveless dress, and I can tell she's just overloaded with joy. Before my surgery, I had four breasts, and two of them were in my armpit. They made me insecure, and they rubbed raw. But now, thanks to Dr. Debro, my armpits look normal again. There's no more chafing, no more embarrassment. I can finally wear the wedding dress of my dreams without worrying about what my underarms look like. What do you do for a living? I'm an attorney. An attorney? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of law do you practice? Uh, family law. So not so medical the... malpractice? No. OK, good. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> but family law, all the divorce stuff. Yes. Monica does not have the typical appearance of a family law attorney. And believe me, I know what family law attorneys look like. I have had six boob jobs, putting me up to like 1,400 cc's. I woke up, I was like, man, this is what I've always wanted. After I started recovering, I started noticing like my nipples were more inwards as opposed to center of the breast. And okay. I had a lot of side boob. I like side boob. I just want my nipples to be more centered. So let's just do a general yeah. exam. If you were to do this, bring them this way, the areolas, they look further apart. Next option is to take these out, downsize them, bringing your areolas further this way, you'd still be very big, you wouldn't be 1,400 cc's, but that's on the table as a possibility and not completely without risk, but safe-ish. Honestly, no. Oh, you don't even want to I think can't. about no, this? No. You don't want to deliberate for a moment? You don't want to go back and discuss it with the jury foreman? <laughs> Going smaller is not really something I She wanted, wanted this for years. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's very clear, although my arguments were solid, I did not influence the members of the jury.